Welcome Walnut. I'm Lara, but you can call me Laz, your host for Walnut Wednesday. This is your reminder to be brave, be yourself, and know that you can make the world a better place just by what you decide today. Here, I'm going to share my weekly walnuttings with you on a Wednesday. Hello, Walnut. It is me, Les, here for another episode of Walnut Wednesday. Happy, happy Walnut Wednesday. I hope you've had a wonderful week and you've been really courageous and done a couple of hard things and celebrated yourself after the fact, no matter how big or small that they were. But um, I'm so excited to talk to you today. I want to say what in the eclipse Mercury retrograde effing hell is actually going on right now. Um. My walnutting this week is something that I have not done, but something that I want to extensively discuss. Um, And I say what in the eclipse is this because it feels very uh, second chance, full circle of a situation um, that is kind of like something that's repeated a couple of times throughout my life. And Walnut, I've talked a little bit about, and I'm I'm sure that you can relate, you know, when you're younger, um, going through different friends who kind of, you know, you, you, they come into your life for different reasons and they, it's not, they use you, you use each other. You, you are there for each other for specific reasons and specific times and the learnings you're meant to learn come through and some of them you keep in your pocket forever and they hang about and they're your forever ones and then others are there just for that little period um I am being heavily reminded at the moment Walnut I had a situation um a long it's a it's a long time ago now and gosh I can't even remember like the nitty-gritty details of it but it it was like full uh, all consuming um you know the the bane of my life I actually fell out with another friend because because of it but I basically started to notice the way someone was and see the what does it see the wood for the trees I I just noticed that oh you're like that and then I couldn't unsee it and um then a situation happened where I, they were literally just like shape shifting <laughs> in front of my eyes and were becoming a completely different person. And then I kind of like understood why they became friends with me because it was like almost I, how do I even describe? It's like I was st- like the stepping stone for them to get to the the thing that they needed. Um, and that's not to say like, oh, poor me, la, la, la. Like I'm sure that I've, I have done that with with people who have come in and out of my life as well. Um, But I just remember this was such a huge saga of my life. It was so draining. I was so upset all the time. And, yeah, like I said, I broke up with another friend over it. Um, And it's the fact of just (laughs) – I'm a 5-1 in human design, right? I don't like following the trends. It bothers me to be like everybody else. And I've always had this thing, Walnut, where I, like, hate people copying me. (laughs) Even though everything is copied, right? Trends, fashion, everything is what you see from somewhere else. You don't just, you don't really um, just like come up with a thing. Like usually there's like a little bit of stuff planted in from the subconscious that you've like taken on from somewhere. Um, But it was kind of like a situation like that where it was like, why are you like all of a sudden changing your like look? Um, And yeah, so it was sort of like that. Oh God, I just... Yeah, like without saying all the details, I just am kind of like reflecting now thinking, God, how funny that is. But basically, Walnut, it was a whole saga. It was a whole drama. It was an issue. It was um, it was close to home because there were like relationships with, um, you know, like my uh, in-law family. Like there was, it was all, all entwined, right? And what ended up sort of happening was... I felt like I was placed in the position of the villain, of the baddie, of the, oh, Lara's just being a bitch because um, whatever. It's just Lara is the one being the bitch because she's not like the sad and meek one that's got stuff going on. Um, And I feel like I have been kind of plonked in in that role, um, not in an empowered way, um, a a few odd times through my life. 
Um, but I remember that especially. And yeah, like I say, lost friend, other friends because because of it. Um, and it it's kind of like the situation, Walnut, where it's like, and this is such a girl's thing. It, like us female, how we do battle is so manipulative, isn't it? It's so passive aggressive under the rug behind closed doors gaslight like I've been in situations Walnut where I am I've been I felt like I've been made to be the villain the baddie the the bitch of the situation the person who's taking it too far and like what's her problem um but it's those little micro things that the person um would do where only I would notice that they were singling me out or picking on me or trying to do something at me, if that kind of makes sense. Whether it's conscious or not, that's what was going on. And, you know, there have been a couple of situations where other people kind of noticed it, but, like, I noticed it. I noticed every little micro one, not just the couple of big ones that popped up. So um, <laughs> it's, just, it's bizarre. I Like, I'm, I'm kind of baffled on it because I feel like, I am having this again um in in a situation and what where I landed with that with the, with the situation in the past was um kind of nowhere it just kind of fizzled out um you know we moved I moved houses and you know and just drifted off yet yeah, that person still remained but I just kind of like ice queen cold shouldered and you know cut the cut that Cord sort of thing I didn't there wasn't really a big crescendo character arc going on it was just kind of like um bitterness frustration and then just try and forget about it and then time just made that happen time made the the, the deep deep emotions um kind of lessen and go away and like now I don't even remember um, what lots of those micro things were and what the big deals of everything was but I know that I that person is not someone who I, I want in my life and that's and that's absolutely fine um, and I don't think that they're bad or wrong they're just not my person not my type of people um, and yeah I've been kind of put in a in a in a spot walnut where I, I feel like this is like history repeating itself in a different form and in a, and, and in a different way. But I feel like I'm just starting to notice these little micro things where only I would know um, that they're going on um, and they're little digs, they're little passive aggressive things and it's a situation again that's sort of like close but not super close and and all the things so I do have to treat a little bit lightly but I feel like because it's the clip season it's like maybe am I getting my little my little character art, my little redemption my little moment to kind of stick up for myself and I've done all this walnut work to know that like I am not the baddie and if people think I'm the baddie I don't care um whereas before that meant the world to me right it's like what do people think of me like I'm not a bitch like oh my god you know stressed whereas now it's like I know I'm genuinely not I I I love myself I back myself enough to know that I am a, a good person and this is not a me thing it is a them thing and so yeah, I'm really struggling walnut and like I say this episode is not um a walnutting that I have completed yet but I am at the phase now where I am going to have to back myself and I'm going to have to raise a couple of things when I notice the little micro the mu little micro pass eggs um pop up um you know and and it's so tricky isn't it walnut because because they're so micro they can just be played off as like, oh, I was joking, or oh my god, no, I would never. Um, oh, yeah, us oh, women are very cunning, aren't they? They are very, very cunning. But um, we are very cunning, you know. We've got we've got very special mental powers. Um, but it's just kind of like what what the theme of it is 
is almost like that when women typically um, are feel we're always putting each other as our competition rather than our allies, aren't we? It's I mean, we try to be conscious of it, but we've just been so ingrained in society to like, it's better to tear each other down or to climb over one another to try and get to the spot rather than work together to make a bigger, make a spot bigger or make, you know, like to make more room like or, or change the location of the spot rather than trying to like climb the ladder and there's only like one little platform for one. Um, Why don't we just like, make a platform somewhere else um together um and yeah i think it's this whole you want something um and i am like a step like some kind of stepping stone or or something and then i don't know all that i'm finding it really hard to articulate but i'm really i'm i'm struggling a little bit and i you know, I'm self-aware enough now where um, the little micro things, I, you know, they're actually genuinely upsetting me. And, yeah, I have to start wall to walnut and, and say something um, in a very collected um, and honest way while at the same time playing the same game of being tactful um, because – because of the what what the situation really is, um, so I'm sat here with hurt feelings and trying to be strategic and think about how I'm going to stick up for myself and what I'm going to say and making up all the fake conversations and stuff like that. Um, while at the same time, I'm also just frustrated because be better and I'm too old for this and I'm pregnant, like. <laughs> I don't got time. I don't got time and I don't care. Um, you know, I'm older and uglier and I just like I don't have I don't have the emotional stamina to withstand <laughs> what that all consuming stuff I had so long ago. Um you know, well not, but I will. You know, I'm a walnut. I am brave. I'm courageous. I'm worthy of sticking up for myself for and calling calling it out. And I'm yeah, I think this eclipse has sort of given me this opportunity to reflect a situation that I just left and let simmer out. Um and it's brought it all back up to the surface to say, like, hey, Laz, come on, start let's start just owning who you are and you know you're worth it. You've done all of this work and some sometimes sometimes there is strength in letting things slide and other times and this is what my sacral is telling me now is an appropriate time to um make comment or you know it's a really pick your battle kind of kind of moment um it's just all of these other little aspects that make it a little bit trickier and um yeah it's it's just really interesting because it's like I don't I don't feel like I'm like competition. I don't even know what what the issue is. I don't know why it's me. Again, you know, I'm like why me? <laughs> like why 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 do I attract why do I attract this? Um you know, like cuz it's not the you know, it's it's a whole other situation on repeat again. History is kind of like coming back. So it's like, okay, what did I do last time and how am I going to change it and um how do I feel and what am I going to be like and um yeah, it's sort of just navigating navigating a really really murky, wishy-washy, difficult situation with grace, with tact and with integrity and still staying true to my actual authentical walnut self um, and knowing 100% who I am and that I am I'm worthy of, of backing that person. Um, so, yeah. Also, the, the interesting thing now, walnut, is, as well, is I have created such you know, a wonderful life, a wonderful safety net of collections of people where 
I, I do genuinely feel safe. I feel like I can say um, to particular people, hey, this happened. This is how it made me feel. This is what I'm going to do about it. And I get the response that says, fucking oath, Laz, I, I'm, I'm backing you. I've got your back. Whereas before it was like, you know, I broke up with friends over over situations like this or um you know they moved away and then we stopped talking and it's like oh my god I just spent so much time with you and now I'm dead to you um you know so I I am in a really great place where I have that amazing sense of self and I really I like the person that I have become and I also like and feel safe and comfortable with the people that I have decided to keep and um continue to have in my life so the situation that once upon a time in history was big and all-consuming and difficult and hard this time around and having it reflected back up with an opportunity to um to treat it a little bit differently um I have that armor and I have that um I have that sense of of self like I do feel like a warrior you know and not like a I'm worried warrior like a warrior like a, I'm 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 ready to do this fight because I'm gonna fight for myself you know I make it sound like it's some big like medieval bloody with swords and things and I'm gonna like have this big like cat fight with someone and no it's not like that I'm just gonna literally make a comment uh, when I hear a comment <laughs> Do you know what I mean without making it like snarky or anything I'm gonna just call it out for what it is um and I've, like I said, well, now I have practiced lots of conversations in my head and I'm ready. And maybe when I, when I have one of those, I'll feel called to um, do a podcast recording and give feedback on uh, how the situation went. But as it stands, I have a, I have a plan in place. <laughs> I'm just so learning of like what happened before and what gets to happen now, who I am now, who I have around me now. Um, and it's, it's actually kind of nice. It is frustrating and difficult as it is. Um, if, I, I didn't think of this before I hit record walnut, but just talking that out, that little piece out loud now, it's like that self-respect that I have, the people that I, I have in my life as my support safety network. Like it's, I'm pretty lucky, aren't I? So, um, so yeah. Uh, moral of the story is eclipse season. History might be repeating itself. Lessons learned, but also like um, I'm being really given an opportunity to look at something that happened to me a long time ago that was really difficult and really heavy and hard and frustrating. And I got really perceived in a certain way. And now I am having a similar situation where I get to be a part of, I get to be consciously a part of that narrative and who I am and who I'm being and with more, I'm I'm more whole. I'm more, um, yeah, I'm more whole. I'm more like well-equipped, well-armored with things to just not let it be such a heavy, horrible time I can let it be the wa water off a duck's back even though some of the comments are not are not sliding off my little ducky back um they are real are like upsetting me a, a little bit um but I'm at a place now where I can really um yeah make make moves for the for for my my better self you know without being without I don't know I don't know. You know what I mean? Well, not, do you know what I mean? I don't know, but do you know? <laughs> um, yeah. So that's that's me. While I'm going, I'm going for battle. Um, yeah, with with my new sense of self, with my new, I'm going, I'm going to battle as a walnut <laughs> with all of my walnut journey stuff um, as my as my armor and with people that have my back. And not saying that I'm going to make people put put people in the middle and get everyone else involved. It's not like that at all. But I just know I have that support and um, security and security of self. So I think that's a pretty cool walnutting to have in general, even though I haven't done anything yet. 
um, just the realization of that alone is like, wow. So happy eclipse season. Uh, Good luck. Godspeed. And I'll see you on the other side. Uh, And let me know in the walnut tree if you've had similar situations. What you think? What do you think about the the women thing and the platform and how we like climbing over each other and try and tear each other down even still um for strange little reasons that are usually it's not a me problem it's a you problem sort of thing um and what what do you think of it what would you do about it what have you had a situation like that i'd love to know walnut because it's a curious topic i think and like I say, I tried to sort of explain this to Geordie a little bit, but girl, yeah, girl fighting is very different um, and it's very behind the closed door and you, it, it takes a lot of like strategic thinking and it's very, yeah, cunning is, is the only word I can sort of that comes to my mind so i'd love to know uh, your thoughts if you think i'm an absolute fucking bitch from this episode i apologize i suppose um let me know why um and maybe we can talk about it a little bit more um but no hard feelings if you don't want to listen to me ever again um thanks for your time anyway so walnut have a happy walnut wednesday wish me luck i wish you luck and i look forward to talking to you soon Have a happy one, let me tell you. I love you. Bye.